All right, everyone, I finished downloading all the updates and I'm going to open my USB driver, USB drive. And it has my Windows 7, the same disk uh, on my USB. I copied it there just in case this for some reason the disk didn't work. So I have Windows 7 update. Um, let's see. This is my drivers, but first I'll update some stuff. Let's do service pack because this does not have service packs. So Winver. If I open Winver, as you can see, it's Windows 7, built 7600. Uh, 7600. This means uh, the service pack was 7601. So I need to install service pack 1. So I think this is service pack 1. Windows 6.1. Um, and that's not service pack one. This is service pack one. Oh no! This Windows Seven. Oh, I hate you, Windows Seven. You do not have the ability to open ISO folders. That means I have to extract this stuff. All right, back to the drawing board. So what I'm doing here is actually I mounted the ISO file by double double clicking it on Windows Ten. And I'm copying it to a folder called SP on SP1 in my Windows 7 well, in my USB flash drive, which is flashing right now. <sighs> no pun intended. But um yeah, so it is gonna take a while. This USB is slow, so 1.76 gigabytes left. Alright, it's done. We have the uh, CD or ISO file unpacked. I'm just gonna delete this ISO file. Delete. Yes, if this didn't copy properly. Of course, I can't delete it because I have to un unmount it first, so. Let me just unmount the drive. I think if I go to my, P not local to C, I have to go to this PC and then unmount this other drive that also looks like a Windows 7 setup because use the same icon because it's a Windows 7 service pack setup. Disk. Apparently they give out as give that out as discs. Interesting, huh? Interesting time. So I'm gonna have an update. Now I can delete that disc. Delete. Yes. Good. Now we could take this off. Safely remove this hard hardware. Focus, eject cruiser guide, it's not ejecting, why not? You know when that happens? Oh, it did eject, it didn't give a notification for some reason, usually it does. No, do not click the wrong button, oh, there you go, okay. Yeah, there. Shut this off, and let's get going. Turn this Close the door. Open this. Time to put the drive in the disc. After this, I'm gonna go pray. And after praying my Asr prayer, it's an Islamic one of five Islamic prayers. I have to come back and see what the progress is. But before I start, I have to see. Um, after I'll start the installation and go to pray, and see where where the progress has been when I come back. Transfer Windows 7 updates. Um, service pack one setup, same icon. Well, okay, that was black screen, kind of freaked me out right there. Yes, I was looking at the camera, so I wasn't sure if this black screen was actual or was it a reaction. Was it did it only appear in the phone camera? Install Windows 7 Service Pack 1. We recommend installing service packs. We recommend installing service packs as a great way to help improve win help keep Windows up to date and help enhance the stability and performance of Windows. Before continuing, save your work and close all open programs. The installation will take some time to complete, and your computer might restart a few times during installation. What would you like to do? What would you like? What you should know before installing Service Pack 1. Let's see if that website still works. Oh, this is a local file. Interesting. Before you begin, back up, log into your computer, all that stuff. Yeah, installing Service Pack 1. Okay. You could skip all that. 
copyright 2011 Microsoft Corporation so different copyright so we have a 2009 release I think this will bring it up to date at least security and stabilities and hotfix wise to 2011 and I have another roll up that will bring it to 2016 so there we go but I doubt the roll up itself that brings it to 2016 control contains the GWX Windows Windows pa control panel but yeah except the license agreement today except the license agreement I don't remember but um automatically restart the computer install yeah installing Windows 10 service Windows 7 Windows 10 I keep saying Windows 10 installing Windows 10, 7 service pack 1 the installation might take an hour or so wow your computer might restart several times during installation installing update from Microsoft Windows KB976902 I guess we'll come back when this is done oh interesting it's just downloading something it's are there like updates since like there's a newer version of some files in the service pack since I mean I downloaded this ISO image or disk image I, I had downloaded this disk image in 2011 so I guess there has been updates since then to service pack one that needs to be in integrated with the setup before continuing interesting so I guess we'll be back when this is done I guess I'll take this opportunity to do go do wudu which is required a clean cl cleansing process for prayer for those of you who are interested in knowing more about the Islamic prayer. So I'll do wudu and come back and see what uh, what the status is. So it seems that it finished downloading that update. Now it's installing service packs for Microsoft Windows KB nine seven six nine three two. I don't know if that's the same number I read a little bit earlier. But yeah, so it'll take an hour or so, but I know there's a restart component where the it's entire thing is full screen instead of installing service pack. So I'm going to go pray officer and then I'll come back to see if th the screen changed. See you in a bit. Strangely, I finished praying, but it still seemed to be stuck in this screen. The progress bar has failed. This is one of the most annoying classic problems. When it reaches 100%, it still like takes another half an hour to finish it's like it, it takes longer to finish after it reaches 100 percent than before like to it, then it does to actually get to 100 percent kind of weird isn't it so it's the progress bar failed by the time when i came back i saw the entire progress bar, bar full i waited a couple minutes to set to let you guys know i think i'm gonna go downstairs and paint the deck red i might have a photo later on to show what the deck's like but yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take. So I'll be back, I guess. I'll play the deck for 15 minutes or so and come back and see if the screen changes. If it does, I'll let you guys know. All right. Oh, just remember what I hope, I really hope that that screen doesn't require me to confirm confer, confirm that uh, uh, by selecting the restart button. And I hope it just automatically re restarts and doesn't require me to confirm it. Because if it does and I come back and I see like it's been stalled, waiting for me to press the restart button, I'll be upset. So... Hopefully when I come back, inshallah, we'll see that it actually restarted on its own and it's doing the installation. So we'll see. I will find her in a bit, right? So. Oh, would you look at that? Just as I said that, it's actually saying configuring service pack. Do not turn, turn off your computer. 16%, 18%, 20%. It might actually restart by the time I finish recording. But yeah, I think it restarts at 30%. But yeah, so do not turn off your computer. So I guess the timing is interesting. Yeah, it's at 30% it'll restart and it'll continue installation. But yeah, so yeah. So there's the screen. Interesting, huh? Alright, we'll be back when service pack is done installing. Ooh, black screen and Dell with the reflection. Windows logo. Yep. Well, yep. Beautiful glowy aura of Windows 7. Starting Windows. Please wait. Continuing configuring service pack. 36, 35% do not turn off your computer. Yeah, I think this. As you noticed by the speed at which the update was happening, it took didn't took much longer after I turned the video video off. After a couple more minutes, it was done. But I had to go and paint the deck so I came bar back charged my phone it's up to 63% before that I was complaining that I had less than 5% left and it won't let me record but I I mean it, it would let me record but I turned it turned the camera off every, every few minutes to prevent the phone from shutting off and me losing my video so now I'm re recharged it while I was actually painting the deck now it's back to 63% I think I have enough charge to record the rest of the video if not I'll try it again okay so let me let me just log in it's logging in. What does it say? 
Windows 7 Service Pack 1 installed. Awesome, I feel like touching the screen. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. My touchpad doesn't work. I don't see my mouse pointer. Oh, no. Okay, so I don't know what to do here. So there's closing it. Um, uh oh. Um, I'll have to use my keyboard to navigate now. Um, this is gonna be strange. Uh, for, let me try restarting the PC first. So maybe that'll solve the problem before I. I mean, I could do the rest of the thing with the keyboard. Be interesting, but you know, might as well go the easier out. I'll, I'll I'll try restarting this and seeing what happens after. Uh, Maybe I'll have to reinstall the Alt touchpad driver. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see what happens. Seems like upgrading to Windows 7 Seller Scissors Service Pack 1 is more uh, has more compatibility problem than upgrading Windows 7 to 10. Because when I upgraded this PC to Windows 10, I didn't have any I don't have any uh driver problems actually. I need to focus, focus. Let's see if the thing works. Yup, mouse driver is working. So I guess uh, the usual the advice, the best advice, one of the best advice to fixing a problem, the first step to do is turn it off and turn it back on again. There's a funny uh, YouTube video on it, and you should definitely watch it. Uh, just type in turn off, turn off, and turn off, turn back on again. So, Windows 7 updates. We have Internet Explorer 11 with Internet Explorer 11 with prerequisites. So before I can install Internet Explorer, I have to have some updates like a Windows 7 platform update and more. Uh, but instead of applying when those updates individually or using Windows Update, which will take hours, if not days, I'll just I just downloaded the thing. Uh, thankfully, Microsoft um, provided a few months, a couple months ago, a roll-up that brings Windows 7 up to date with most of the updates and hotfixes uh, up till June or April 2016. So. I'll have this uh, service pack one is a uh, brings the Windows 7 up to uh, uh, 2011 uh, m or March 2011 uh, to be particular uh, version 6.1 build 7601 service pack one. Let me see. Remember that Internet Explorer update? Let me see what the version number of Internet Explorer 8 is now. It's a mouse help. About Internet Explorer 17514. So remember, it was 6, 16085 or 16385, and now it's 17054. So we have a much updated version of Internet Explorer 8, but still Internet Explorer 8, which is really outdated. At this time, when Service Pack 1 is released, IE9 was still in beta or release candidate. It hadn't come out yet, so at this time, I still have the latest version of Internet Explorer as of March 2011 and I think I'll be able to up, upgrade update Windows 7 all the way to April 2016 in one full swoop update on one so one full swoop with one update so I'm going to double click this preparing in the installation oh, there you go so let's see what happens with this one now it's us searching for updates on this computer we're getting somewhere the update is not applicable to your computer. What? What? This makes no sense. <gasps> oh no. Like, what the heck? I have no idea what's going on. This is the Windows 7 Cumulative Update. Oh, I think I know. I'm, I have... There are some prerequisite updates I'll have to get. Well, gotta get... Good, good, gotta go and do that. All right, I had to go and just had my dinner. Now I'm back. It's now 9.29 p.m. It's 10, 11, 12, so three hours until free upgrade is over. So I gotta get my act together and get the updates for 
So I think there's some prerequisites to get the cumulator update. So look at watch as I went to Google. This uh it's this since Internet Explorer is so so old in IE8, it's using a really really 2011 circa 2010 2011 version of google really old version of google has an old header that hasn't been updated for ages so it's kind of interesting to see isn't it even the old button so it's google has an old version of its soft search engine software for internet explorer 8 and other old browsers so that's interesting windows 7 convenient roll up let's see what they got here convenience roll up update a convenience roll up, not convenient roll up, although it is very convenient. But the roll up is for our convenience. There's a kind of a subtle difference between these two. But my question is can Internet Explorer even load this page? It seems like it can't. Oh, bother. I have no idea what to do now. I guess I'll have to install Firefox. I'm right now on 99.com. Time to get a web browser, I suppose. Uh, get your 99. I'm choosing to get Firefox. You know what? Let's get some other stuff. Let's go back. Let's get Firefox. As well as, so we got Firefox, as well as 7-Zip. We definitely need that. Oh, where is 7-Zip? There it is. Um, we need VLC. Uh, v, V, VLC. Where's VLC? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Don't want iTunes. Don't need iTunes. Don't care about iTunes. I think that is good for it for now for now i'll get microsoft security essentials and other stuff later but i'm getting the essentials the reason i'll get it security essentials later is because it turns on windows update and when it turns on windows update it screws up my plan to update everything once before checking for updates save the setup now to open it oh the days before Internet Explorer had a download manager. There it is. Also, the days before, user account control couldn't use arrow. Or, yeah. The day before, it could use arrow at least. So, it can't use it in Windows 7. Downloading Firefox. And let's see what happens once everything is done. Alright, it seems like this installation is finished. And all three of the apps are installed. And I could forget about Internet Explorer finally. Let's use Firefox and use normal Google and normal. Don't want to import anything for an Explorer because I think there's some default links like msn.com that I don't want at this moment. Do not set it as a default browser this moment, please. Oh, three new tabs. I don't need tutorials on Firefox. Thank you very much. And I'm not willing to sign up, sign into sync at this moment because I have other more pressing matter to do. Google. Oh look, a newer version of Google. That actually looks like modern Google. Cool. And a more modern search results. Unfortunately, with a more modern Google, you get more modern advertisements. That includes advertisements of getting Chrome or signing up, signing in. And I don't want to do that because I prefer Firefox over the bloated Chrome browser. I do some like the uh, WebKit, WebKit engine sometimes. And for that, I recommend Opera or something some other lighter version of the browser that rather than chrome if you want something light although i'll have to say uh, that the chrome does sync your favorites which is very useful for using uh syncing your favorites between android ios and windows it's good uh, but there it is as you could see the page had had loaded immediately unlike that in the explorer so let's look at um, convenience, convenient roll-up for Windows 7, Service Pack 1, and Server Service Pack 1, Server 2008 Service, R2 Service Pack 1, okay. So, I think there's some prerequisites, so introduction, don't need that. No issue in this convenience roll-up. I don't want to solve the issues because I'm not even having these issues. I need to... 
to apply this update you must install service pack 1 and april 2015 service stacks for windows 7 yep that's the reason i couldn't get it and now that i'll get it inshallah i'll be able to um install the convenience blow up so how to obtain this update one this update is available from windows update download center so we'll x uh, windows 7 64 bit download this package now and english download all right it's downloading i don't see anything on that arrow right there focus there you go no nothing in this arrow nothing in the bottom install instructions i don't need i need to download this first why isn't it downloading hmm Thank you for downloading. I don't see anything here. Just more other stuff to download. Duh. No. I might have to use Internet Explorer, unfortunately. There's a good reason to have a second browser installed, even though, even though you may never use it. It's because of times like this if something for some reason doesn't work in one you have a backup browser and the last thing you want to do is when you're in her in, in, a, in a hurry is to go find a second browser to download and then try and see if it actually works so i'm gonna save this let's see what happens we're gonna install this update first and yes this did work with internet explorer uh, surprisingly and i'm gonna run it inshallah what are you doing? Windows Explorer didn't have it didn't have IE didn't have security checks. Waiting so long. There, open. Yes. All right. And yes, now it says, "Do you want to up install the following win Windows software update?" The card Windows software update, not Windows update. Okay. KB what? I forgot. I didn't read it. Whatever. All right. We'll have to wait till this is done. Then we could do the big. Convenience roll-up. It says installing Windows Update KB3020369. Oh, okay. Hope I don't have to restart. No, I don't. Now I can install the massive 488,327 488, gigabytes or mega, sorry, <laughs> that'd be horrible, kilobytes of uh, update, which is basically like almost half a gig. Or, uh, um, not half, almost half a gig nearly half a gig with you know, 100 less than half 100 max less than, 150 max less than half a gig or something like that yeah or maybe 100 less than yeah it doesn't matter okay so it's now th this is going to take searching for required updates or searching for updates on this computer so it's going to take a little while before the okay now it's just due to install the following software update so um, I guess it didn't, it recognized the update this time, and now that I have the required update, I could install the rollup. There we go. E, it's working faster than I think it, it, it would. I mean, that's a massive up, upgrade, going from 2011 all the way to 2016. And there's a, there's a lot of cruft in there. And it's actually gonna, it's gonna it's gonna be more clean and faster, and it's gonna use less disk space if we actually used Windows Update and updated every single update, or almost every single update, because it just updates to the latest version of each of the files that gets updated in all four years, rather than updating it over and over again. Because Windows actually keeps all the updates you do, so you could uninstall any particular update, and rather than going back to the original Windows RTM, you could actually go to a previous update that was applied. Now. In Windows 8 and Windows 10, there's an option called in disk cleanup, Windows update cleanup, that deletes the interim update. So, like, say if you have a file that was updated on April and not, and it was updated again on May and it was updated again in June, now you have the fi original file, you have the April version of the file, you have the May version of the file, and June version of the file. What Windows update cleanup does is, uh, I mean, that allows you to act. That's a, there's a benefit to that is that allows you to go back to either if for say uh 
after the June update, something is not working. So you could rather than having to uninstall all the updates and go back to the original version of the file, you could still stick with the May version of that file. The, not, so that any, any updates up till May is still applied to your computer. So you don't have to delete everything just because the latest update killed your computer. So, um, so that there's a benefit, but the negative side effect of that is um, you have way too much disk space used. So what Windows Update Cleanup does is uh, it actually deletes all the interim, interim version of that. Right? So if you ha if your file was updated on May, June, and July, and August, and you have the August version, you just could use Windows Update Cleanup to get a May, June, July version of those files. And then you'd only have the original version that's shipped with the operating system and your latest updates. So you could, you could only uninstall it and go all the way back to the earlier one. So you don't lose the ability to uninstall your update, but you lose the inner interim updates, which could save massive gigabytes and gigabytes of disk space. And the benefit of using this roll up is that you could avoid and have even having to install all these interim updates and just go all the way to the latest version as of April 2016. So again, again, four years later, there'll be again the hun hundreds of updates since this rollup. So, um, but it, Microsoft may or may not have another rollup that brings Windows 7 even more up to date. So I don't know. So again, this is going to be a while. We'll be back when this is done. Look, some progress. We're getting somewhere. I don't see the percentage, so I wonder what I'm guessing. Let's see. This is if I say it's 20%. So five of these. One, two, three. No, it should be four of these. So this looks a little more like a 25%, doesn't it? So yeah, 25%. Oh, using my visual awesomeness or, or human, the human brain's visual, you know, pattern detection, whatever. Now it looks more like a 30% or 28% or something like that. It's moving. Looks like the progress. Hey, I see. You saw it? Did you see the progress bar move? I just saw it. Well, another thing I liked about Windows 7 is that the ooh oh yeah once I moved my mouse the screen went brighter. And one thing I like about Windows 7 is the mouse goes brighter or mouse is a drop shadow which is turned off by default in Windows 10 I believe. I keep it on it makes it easier to see the mouse cursor. Notice that I'm listening to a podcast, the Windows Central podcast, great card podcast, and Zach Bowden is, a, is is speaking here. He's awesome. He's talking about Windows 10 anniversary update, but we are talking about. Windows 7 updates, updating to Windows 10. Installation up complete, roll up complete. I guess it'll click restart now. Whoa, watch as the screen brightness changes when I touch the mouse. Restart now. There we go. Configuring Windows updates, 7% complete, do not turn off your computer. Awesome. Let's see what this turns out to be. Let's see if you get a GWX control panel. I highly doubt we will get that. Next up is Internet Explorer 11. We are continuing our journey to Windows 7, updating my old Inspiron from its original RTM state it shipped with and that I restored to, and updating it to a later version enough to be able to update to Windows 10 using Windows Update. Now we'll talk about uh, this process in a bit. Let me just sign in first. So. I just signed in and let's open up File Explorer and finish installing Internet Explorer 10. I was going to say 10. Internet Explorer 11. So, because that's a newer version. It's the last version of IE that is supported, period, on Windows 7, 8, and 10. So, IE 11, this one, 64 bit. What is this? 53. Oh, that's the IE 11 update. So, that's all the cumulative updates to May 2016 to Internet Explorer. But first, we need to inst install. Oh, let's see what our trusty little Internet Explorer 8 is at. Let's see what version it is at right now. So. Let's, let's yeah. Let's first get it re 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 uh, calibrated to the brightness. Internet Explorer 761-17514. Seven, I think that was the version that was that it was on with service pack one so that's strange i guess we're not seeing any other version changes there's a product idea i doubt that changes with maybe it does so um time to install internet explorer 11 and then the updates to internet explorer 11 the cumulative update so 
This Inner Explorers 11 was released, I believe, in uh, August of 2013. This will let us update Inner Explorer 11 to its latest version or latest patch, which would bring it to May of 2016. Internet Explorer 11. Yes, install. Now, here's interesting. If I just had run the IE 11 setup after Service Pack 1, which is the minimum required version of Windows 7 you require to install in Explorer 11, it would actually end up downloading additional updates and patches like the Windows 7 platform update before it could install Internet Explorer. Again, I guess it still requires some updates. So I guess the rollup does not have all the updates um, to for Internet Explorer 11. So it still needs to download some updates. So, but it's not as much. It's much less updates that are required for IE 11 with this rollup uh, applied. So yeah. So let's look at the update history to to see if the rollup was actually successfully apl applied. You can see some apps like Windows Anytime Update, Windows Movie Maker, Windows DVD Maker, that and Meteor Center that no longer are included with Windows 10 and cannot be even used anymore. Windows Update. Enter. <laughs> Windows Update is turned off, but which is fine. I'm gonna turn back on after we get all the updates. But we're gonna check update history. We have. Update four. What is that? Let's do more information to see what that is. I think that's the service pack. But let's verify. Oh no, it's trying to open it in Explore. I need to open it in Firefox. Oh, it's rose right there. I do not want to ever ask you again because I know what I'm doing and I don't want to set you as default yet. I'll make that decision later after I get to Windows 10. Paste. That's the servicing update, so that's not service pack 1. So let's go back to update history. There. Let's see what this update is. Definition update for Windows Defender. Okay. Remember, this Windows Defender is different than the Windows Defender that comes out with Windows 10 and Windows 8. Again, it's a blank. It does show up eventually, apparently. No, it doesn't. So I'll need to use Firefox. Alt D to select the address bar and click enter. Convenience roll up. So we have the convenience roll up for Windows 7. Awesome. Another way to test that is close all tabs. Another way to test that is actually uh, seeing if we have the new Windows update feature. Or sorry, if we have the new disk cleanup feature we talked about. Installing language package. Okay. I guess we're done with almost done with IE 11. Yep, just clean up. Enter, I say. Enter. I guess not. Eh, okay. Pressing enter did not do anything. But let's see if the. I was talking about uh, the Windows Update cleanup that has been backported from Windows 8 and 10. To Windows 7, and I would I would have that option only if and only if I have the update rollup or convenience rollup success properly installed. Just to be sure that we have all the updates, I don't want to waste hours of time trying to install the updates. So, and it seems that IE 11 has finished installing as well. Oh yeah, there's some previous Windows installation. Oh man, I need to get some stuff out of there. Folder options, I need to show hidden files. 
because my mom has Rosetta Stone installed on this. I had Rosetta Stone installed for my mom here, and I she has a lot of. Uh, she did a lot of lessons. I don't want her to lose all her progress, so I'm gonna cut this out from Windows my previous Windows 10 install, and I'm gonna put this back in the program data. So when I reinstall Rosetta Stone and the language pa uh, packs, or I don't have to reinstall the language pack; they're already in here. So when I reinstall Rosetta Stone. All the language packs are installed and she has all her progress saved. That's good. I don't think there's anything else I need to copy over, so. There might be. Let me check my uh, downloads folder, actually. Windows.old. Users. Nasmus. Downloads. Yeah, I'll probably have not that great. Oh, remember the Dell pack we got? I have no idea what that is, so I'll copy over SimCity. I don't care about that game, I'll just copy over SimCity. Control X. I'll have this here. Cause I like the game SimCity. I'll reinstall it later later. You know what? I might just reinstall it now. But let me first check. Oh. Oh see Windows Update cleanup. So it does have um what do you call it? it does have the latest updates because this would have not been the case if I just had the service pack. And I think Windows Update Cleanup came uh, sometimes after Windows 8 came out. So I'm going to install SimCity. It's a GOG game that I bought as soon as it came out. It's this SimCity 3000 I was talking about earlier. Installing SimCity in English for languages. God game, I accept. Options. Yep, everything looks good. It'll require uh, half a gig. SimCity 2000. This and I I, grew, I played SimCity 3000 when I was young, so I remember that game. Oh, I love Rokers Tycoon as well. Awesome game. We're gonna delete previous Windows installation. Save 26.5 gigs of space. Also, Windows Update cleanup. Only 17 megabytes. Thumbnails. Three megabytes. Temporary internet files. Maybe where. Service pack backup, zero bytes. I wonder why it didn't back up. It doesn't want to let me uninstall service packs, which is weird. Usually they do. Temporary internet files, not not too much space anyway. Only 6, 17 megabytes, it'll save. So I'll click OK. Permanently delete files. Yes, sir. I think I got my Rosa, Rosetta Stone safely brought up, brought out of there. So, yeah. Although I'll have to quickly check if there's something on the pictures folder before delete it. Hurry up, we're running against time now. New no, Windows not old. Let me just quickly check my documents and pictures folder. Oh no. Oh no 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 Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> no, it got rid of all my files. Whatever. I don't think I had anything important in there. If I did, I have them backed up anyway. So, previous Windows installation has been cleaned out. I'm going to go and check my disk space. Yep, 69 gigs. I had 64 gigs before. Now it's going to, I think it's deleting the Windows directory, which takes a little longer than everything else. And I'm almost done with installing. Oh, that's strange. I'm almost done with installing. All right. This installer is broken apparently. Oh, now it's done. It didn't let me switch to it. SimCity Unlimited was installed successfully. Launch. We're launching a game. SimCity, I love this game, man. I'll have a playthrough. I'll try to play through, inshallah, of this game. Anyway, goodbye. Yes, please. Okay, so well, there, and okay, so it's almost done, previous one's still in this installation, we'll restart after IE is done, and then we'll check for updates, I don't think there's any GWVX Windows 
um, optimal screen resolution problem. Yeah, there's no GWX because Windows 10 is not going to be. It's good that they didn't include it in the rollup because after today, Windows 10 is no, no longer free. So people who install <laughs> the rollup after this date will, would have gotten a f useless GWX control panel or GWX, GWX um, notification to get Windows 10, even though Windows 10 would be out of no longer free, so which is weird. Windows update cleanup, and it's done. And now let's re restart i11, or restart Windows 7, not i11. Configuring updates for Windows updates. No, configuring updates for Windows 7, or for your computer. 29%, 30%, and it'll restart right now. So, that's that. So it restarted. I did not get a chance to show you the Dell logo. Cleaning up. Interesting. I guess it's the extension of the Windows Update cleanup. Okay. That was cool. I've never seen that option ever before. So that's awesome. So, all right. Let me log in. Yes, look at that. We have a new IE10 logo or IE11 logo. Well, IE9 logo. This logo hasn't changed since IE9. And now that IE is dead, there's likely this will never change. Yes, use recommended privacy settings. Oh, but people might have a conspiracy. Recommended. Welcome to the web. Get set up in three way, three easy steps. That's cool. Make make your uh make being your default. Turn on Windows Update and make I your default browser. Okay, so this is just a help file to get you to set these things up. A new privacy setting. This do not track. Okay, so basic stuff. Let's get the version detail. This is 11.20 and version 10.86.17.8.4.17.8.4.3. This is the same version that comes with Windows 8.1 Update 1. Yes, don't, don't ask me about the names. They're confusing names in Windows 8.1. So... I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna close this. But yeah, as I was saying, recommended privacy settings. Conspiracy theorists would say, well, in these days, Microsoft's record and recommended privacy setting means recommended that they you let them spy on them. Yes, that's the new privacy settings. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to have one more, a little bit more stuff left, and then we're done. We have to get the IE co cumulative update. So this is it. The last update we do before you do a normal Windows update check. All right, so before we go any further, I wanna talk about getting Windows 10. There are several ways to get Windows 10. Uh, one is to use the media creation tool. Second, you could actually get the Windows 10 app outside of Windows Update. Yes, there's a special Windows 10 installer that you'll never get to see, I believe, after today. Maybe, you might, you might. Um, that's different from the Windows 10 setup. It's a it's an alternate version of Windows 10 setup that you would get and I tried this on this PC earlier and even though it says you you, you need Windows 7 service pack 1 to update to Windows 10 that app updated with the RTM version of Windows 10 with no drivers installed No updates it updated perfectly. So that's one that's one of the easiest way to actually found to update Windows to Windows 10 I'll show you that process uh, right as this update is finished and the third way is what most people see is the annoying pop-up that comes up telling you that, oh, update to Windows 10 with you when you say, no, I won't, and I, I don't want to update, and it says, update, please update, please update, time's running out. You say, no, I won't. Next day, too bad, we decided to update to Windows 10 automatically. So that's the other thing. So I'm, I'm going to try to show you both of the options. Uh, so I'm not going to initiate the upgrade with the other feet, other convenient app I showed you I'm gonna go through the Windows update route or the other one depending on if Windows update takes too long I'm gonna try the other one but yeah I want to see what I want to show see what that is experience is like so yeah so it's installing this update is done time to restart Green, I love the shutdown sound of Windows 7 configuring Windows updates 30% complete and if you guys notice it always shuts down and restarts after at 30% and it continues from there and the you know it finishes updating after this i remember in windows vista it had to like special for service packs it had to like 
go to 30%, restart, do a little bit more, restart, do a little bit more, restart, and then, especially for really big updates like service packs, Windows 7 is, and later is much better than that. It usually it gets done in one update. So, yep, let me just log in. All right, that color was a little weird. Now, let's open and explore and see what he got. Emerson. Bing search. This wasn't there when i11 originally shipped. There's a new feature that was added later as an update. And we're up to 10.31, which is, takes us to May May 2016. Uh, uh, but there's a newer version of i11, um, which is comes out in July. So, see? May 10, 2016. So, now what we're going to do is do a normal Windows update check. So time to update to the latest version of Windows 7. Guys, I'm writing typing with on one hand, so excuse the slow typing here. Turn on automatic updates. Yes, please. Now it's going to check for updates. And I'll change settings. I'm going to install update automatically. Give me recommended updates the same way as receive important updates. Allow all users to install updates. Okay, get me get updates from other Microsoft products. Find out more. What does this do? This lets me get updates for Office. So allow. Yeah, it wants me to get um back in the day when I used to use Windows 7 this did not open the web browser this actually opened another window that lets you get uh, other updates but this is broken now this takes to the web browser which tells you oh Windows updates are integrated to the OS you don't need the browser anymore but the OS tells you to get to the browser which is an infinite loop of nothing happening now I heard and I've heard from Mr. Paul Karat that checking for updates in Windows 7 is a tedious process I mean it checks for hours so I don't think we have the convenience of doing that. That's why I did the convenient roll up, a convenience roll up. Um, but I will, in the meantime, I will show you, inshallah, the what the other uh, version of Windows uh, Windows 10 installed I was talking about. <laughs> 